Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Tim Bell here again from TimothyBellFitness.com in part with WholeLifeChallenge.com and today I'll be showing you phase two of my three-part glute activation series. First up, we have banded clamshells. These are performed exactly the same way as you did clamshells in phase one. The only difference is you'll be placing a resistance band around the knees to make them just a little bit harder. Make sure you only open the knees about a fist width. You should feel this in the glutes right where the back pocket of your jeans would be. Lift them up, hold for about 10 seconds, lower down, and repeat for 10 reps per side. Second, we have hip thrusters, which can be done on a stability ball, bench, or even the edge of your couch. Make sure that you've got your shoulder blades in contact with the bench. Make sure the weight's through the heels. You'll squeeze through the glutes the entire time. Raise yourself for four seconds, pause at the top for four seconds, and lower for four seconds. That's one rep. Ten reps total. We'll finish phase two with small squats. Make sure your feet are about hip width apart, not much wider as you would with regular squats. Hip width is exactly where you want it. Now, weight on the heels, brace the abs, and start to lower yourself down into a tiny squat. Don't go too deep. I wouldn't even go to 90 degrees. We want to focus on the glutes. Anterior tilt the pelvis as you lower, posterior tilt as you come up. Four seconds down, four seconds up, 10 reps total. Nice and smooth and controlled throughout the entire exercise. You can make this harder by placing a resistance band around the feet to squeeze a little bit more juice out of those glutes and get a little bit more activation from the glute mead than you normally would during a regular squat. 